When you look at my work, I think it would come as no surprise to know that I have a background in architecture and in theater set design and scenic art. As long as I can remember, I've always been interested in what I'll call placemaking. What makes a home out of a house? What makes a neighborhood out of a group of homes? And when I was doing theater set design, really looking at what is sufficient to suggest a place and what's necessary to evoke a sense of that place. I think almost all of my artwork comes out of these questions and some kind of ongoing investigation. Uh, most of my work starts from my sketchbook. I like to sketch from life in parks and cafes when that's a thing. Uh, around Somerville, Cambridge, Boston, traveling when that's a thing. And from that, I, I mine the imagery from my sketchbooks and use that in my studio to create oil paintings, printmaking, wire drawing, mixed media. I work in a variety of different media, all of it in some way or another rooted in observational drawing. I first moved to Somerville when I was a teenager. It was a very unstable and frightening time for me. As a teenager, I experienced homelessness more than once in my teens and 20s. And so, of course, these questions of home and placemaking, which were always very important to me, became really poignant and powerful, even more so during that period. And now I own a home in Somerville. My spouse and I, we have a garden. We planted a tree. And I think everything I make has in it some way this extreme contrast, this range of experience between being lost and adrift and then this stable rootedness. Somerville now is the place where I feel the most rooted, the most comfortable, the most at home. The piece you see here, Hibiscus, was part of a show at Laconia Gallery in Boston called That Space Between Flying and Falling. All of the pieces in it were these cut silhouettes, which had structures and elements of the city and then painted on the surface with the vibrant colors of a, of a skyscape. And then the other surface, the back surface, are painted with a grayscale version of the same thing. This one came from a sketch I made of my neighbor's porch, the railings, the flowers, the little gas meter, all the little details that I think on some level I've just always appreciated the little details of, of houses, maybe because I didn't always have them, I don't know. In the show, at, uh, that space between flying and falling, all the pieces cast shadows on the walls on the floor, and a viewer walks between and around the pieces, seeing some in color and some in black and white, depending on their perspective, their point of view physically in the space. That comes out of it, it was a way to make visual this interest I have in how our internal emotional landscape impacts how we see the world around us and what we experience and how that's impacted by where we're coming from. At the time that I was working on that show, I was struggling a lot with depression and I was keenly aware on my walks from my home to my studio, how the same view would look very different, like lively and beautiful or drab and lifeless, depending on my own internal state. I think my work has gone further and further into that direction of really looking at the emotional and psychological aspects of placemaking uh, beyond just the physical and technical. Also my work keeps going further from my rooting in painting into quasi-sculpture, installation, mixed media. The next series that I'm working on has to do with finding home and home in the body and I think that my roots, the Somerville is going to be very important in that because that's where I've learned to feel at home.